Q&A number four. Does 1 John 5, 7 prove the Trinity? Okay, let's go to 1 John 5, 7. It says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And Trinitarians will say, See, it proves the Trinity. Okay, well, you got a problem there, because it says these three are one. It doesn't say these three persons are one. Okay, and notice how it also doesn't say God the, well, obviously God the Father is scriptural, but it doesn't say God the Son or God the Holy Ghost. Okay, it just says the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And you don't see, again, you don't see these three persons, it just says these three are one. You know, and it doesn't say one in unity, one in essence, that kind of stuff, it just says these three are one. Because they're one being, they're not three persons. And there is no God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. God the Father is scriptural, but there is no God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. It's just the Son of God, the Holy Ghost, or Holy Spirit, or Spirit of God. He has a number of titles, and God the Father. And there are three in one. They're not three persons, and they're not one in unity or one in essence. They're just one. So no, First John 5, 7 does not prove the Trinity. It proves the Godhead, that there's three, and the three are one. That simple. So, thank you for watching. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.